We'll see what we got here. Okay, we've got one more amino acid here. This is going to be a polar one. So we've already got our backbone drawn in there. And what this one is, is glutamine. Now they all have glut, they all have ene like endings, right? But glut, amine. What's the three letter symbol for glutamine? Is G L N. And so people don't get it mixed up with the glucose and galactose with the sugar three-letter designations. And what do we know? We got the backbone, the side chain to a carbon. And as we look at the structure down here, there's three carbons, so there's three diamonds. I got to tell you, I am a big fan of this technique because these molecules look complicated to me. And then when I look at how easy it is now, this carbon goes to a nitrogen, to an oxygen, double bond there. And this isn't fearful at all. It's an NH2. So it gets two H's on there. These are saturated. There's no double bonds coming through here. So it's just a matter of drawing the dots in there. So they still consider this polar because you've got electron pairs. It's almost like oxygen is a double alien. You know. An electron pair there, electron pair here. So what this gives is a negative charge out there. You also got a lone pair here on the nitrogen. So there's a lot of negative electromagnetic forces out in space here on the end of this. It's making it harder here. You see there? I'm not much for promoting aliens. That's why I'm not going to do this. But I mean, look, look at that nitrogen there. He's got like little arms on him. And I mean, oxygen could be like a two-headed alien, huh? <laughs> but look how simple that is. That is the side chain for one of the hardest to draw Lewis structures in biochemistry. Glutamine. Okay, while it's on the top of my brain here, I'm going to show you something quick. That Another thing I came up with to show how proteins come together because they're bound here. They're pulling water away. And so if you add water is how these bonds are broken through here. The fun way I saw bringing an amino acid together is the nitrogen here gets the triangle, right? And that goes to a diamond. See, I try and draw it with the three-dimensional structure to it, to a diamond. And the way this is bound, you kind of do it like this. It's like, it's an O. What this bond does is it, it's shared between these. So this is the equivalent of the, what they draw as the C with a double bond of the O, single bond of the O with an H. Okay, I don't like that structure. It's, it's neat to draw and it accounts for the bonds and all that. But the way it really looks is 
the proton falls off, you get an electron pair on that oxygen, so it's more like this. Get that carbon in there. So what it does, if you remember our B3 fishies and all those, these carboxylates now are like, I like the fish scenario because out here you've got this negative charge. Stuff out of the background here. So the way you can picture an amino acid coming together, you'll draw this down here as R. So just draw R as a side group, whatever it's going to be. Draw our dots. Boing, boing, boing. Because this isn't bound, so this is just by itself. So how can you picture the way we were bringing all our amino acids together? Like remember we were bonding the O to the N, and technically we know it's upside down and all that, but we're stringing them along like this. So we've got you know, our amino acids all forming a ribbon going across. So to make it artistic and simple to learn for kids, you've got, they're like arrows. You're shooting an arrow into, that's the back, and that's the front. So where's the next end going to come? The arrow is going to fit right in there. Next one comes along. I'm trying to draw these more artistically, but using utilizing the colors to the fullest extent, but that isn't going to be the case here. Because now I'm just getting off base. Got a diamond in the middle. Diamond. Oh. You can just picture those all coming together. And where are the side chains? Remember, they're opposite. So here's R. This R is up there, upside down. This R is down there. So, I mean, this is just a way to learn some chemistry here and not get bogged down with the technical notation. I'm really bad at this. Everything's backwards here. And I think I'd be good if it was backwards. Everything should be just right. So that's the way I picture it here. Picture little arrows. I mean, that's really how it looks. I'm not kidding. When you get an end coming into this thing, you actually get one of those. You end up getting. Double bond on that O. Remember? This will go over to the next N. This goes off to the middle diamond that's holding the R. This goes back to the triangle. The point is here, when you see this happening, one of those O's is gone. There's an O. The nitrogen, it's got three dots on it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. It's only got one when it's bound. The picture there. There's one, two. So that's the water that comes off when you string these protons together. String these, string these amino acids together. So you got protons going to the oxygens, making water. This is water. So if you're going to break a protein down, you throw water in, and you're back up with your negatives. Sharing electrons, and the protons go to the nitrogen. Boing, boing. That, my friends, is 
biochemistry.